Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and you are listening to Walnut Notes, the official podcast for the members and friends of FCBC Walnut. I'm here with Joyce Luck, and she is one of the mentors at In Transit Fellowship, the Young Adult Fellowship of FCBC Walnut. Joyce, with the holidays approaching, I wanted to ask you, what advice would you give to single men or women who want to be in a relationship? And how can we keep our focus on Jesus? Thanks, Aaron, for your question. Actually, there is nothing wrong to want or desire to be in a relationship. It is wonderful and special when you are with the right person and if it's in God's timing. But I think there is a concern when one feels a need to be in a relationship just because they feel they should be in one. This pressure may come about from feelings of loneliness or pressure from others who might be well-intentioned in asking, are you dating someone? Or when are you going to settle down? Or the pressure from seeing everyone else in a relationship. Social media hasn't helped by displaying the relationship status. I think sometimes showing that status categorizes the haves and the have-nots. Being single is hard enough without a constant reminder of how happy everyone else is with their significant other. My newsfeed is filled daily with perfectly posed couple photos. And I notice when someone gets married, that person is bombarded with messages. Why haven't you changed your status from single to married yet? Recently, I heard a term called cuffing. C-U-F-F-I-N-G, cuffing. I didn't know what that meant, so someone explained to me, and I think it was you, Aaron. It's a term used to describe Single people who seek to be cuffed or tied down by a serious relationship, typically during the fall and winter months, also known as cuffing season. So I feel there is something negative to being single. My best advice to single women, or men for that matter, who feel a strong need to be in a relationship, and let me clarify, a romantic relationship, just to fill that emptiness in his or her life really should focus on God because he knows you better than anyone else. I know this is easy for me to say, but difficult to follow, but cling to God's word as the Bible is truth. Colossians 2.10 says, and in Christ you have been brought to fullness. Scripture tells us that we are filled in him. So in other words, God is the one who makes us complete, not another person. This first can be an encouragement to go after goals other than seeking out a romantic relationship and to seek what God has for you to do. Your completeness in Him means you are uniquely equipped to do the work He has made for you alone. And Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. God created you so He would have your best interests at heart. This is not a guarantee to finding someone, but it's more of an invitation to delight in the Lord whether you are single or married. Don't stop trusting God, and don't listen to lies, Satan's lies, which come from all directions. A lie, such as being with someone, will fix all your problems. I actually felt that way in my early 20s, and honestly, it did not turn out that way. I thought he can solve all my problems. It actually complicated my life as I was juggling college life and living on my own, church life, and personal relationships. I felt I didn't have my own identity because I was known as such and such's girlfriend. And looking back, I'm glad that relationship didn't last long. After breaking up with my then boyfriend, I focused my time learning God's Word in a Bible study, getting involved with my fellowship through leadership. And I was even discipled, which led me later to be a part of missions trips to Tijuana and sharing my faith with my family and friends and even strangers. So just like Colossians 2.10, he filled me with his spirit, will, and purpose to do what he wanted me to do. And because of that, God in his good timing and without my need to be attached brought someone so amazing and wonderful into my life. I've been blessed to have been married to that person, my husband, for over 25 years. So remember, God is in control of everything. He is sovereign. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Thanks, Joyce, and thank you, everyone, for listening to our podcast here at FCBC Walnut. Don't forget that you can get all of the episodes of Walnut Notes delivered via YouTube, Spotify, or your favorite podcast player. Just search for FCBC Walnut. And for more resources, visit our church website at fcbcwalnut.org. Thanks. See you soon.